Over the past couple of days, a lot of businesses and organizations are lending a helping hand to make sure no one goes hungry on Thanksgiving. Because the pandemic forced people to look for resources they may not have to before, there is concerns of getting folks the help they need after the holidays. When the stimulus dollars started coming into the community, in the summer, people were okay. Now that those dollars have run out, now that the eviction moratorium is up, now that uh, the power companies are um, having people catch up on their bills, people are now behind. That's Sarah Fawcett, the president and CEO of United Way of the Midlands. She says since September, phone calls and online visits have spiked since the peak of the pandemic. The resources people are asking for are access to food, rent, and utility assistance. Fawcett is urging folks to call 211. And so with 211, there's several things that they can do. They can help triage your situation and get you the help, not only that you called for, but to refer you to places that you might not have thought of for other types of help that you would need. The Salvation Army also recognizes folks needing assistance during these times. Major Henry Moore says the Salvation Army has also seen an increase of people needing help with the utility bills. They're offering voucher assistance to those who qualify. And that's what we're, we're trying to bring even the Harvest Hope Food Bank has seen an increase of people searching for food. Taylor David says they have gotten a lot of intake of people using the food bank for the first time on Thanksgiving week. David says the food bank will be giving people the help they need even after the holidays. We ask people to come back once every 30 days if possible, but you know, some people have need that help for months. Some people need it weeks. Some people need it years. Some people only need it once a year. So it really just depends. Everybody's situation is different. For Street Squad Columbia, I'm Devin Johnson.